12 rivers. Over 30 tigers. More than 4 lakh acres of forest. Grassland and perennial streams. Sanjay Tiger Reserve has it all. Except something that was found here earlier has been lost. Gone. I have been working here with Sanjay for quite long and uh, we were always thought the diversity has to be there. What is missing? So yes, gore were definitely missing. With a fully grown bull weighing over a ton, the gore is the largest species of wild cattle in the world. Once abundant here until the mid-90s, in just a few years, the last gore had disappeared. From entire landscape, uh, from 95 to 2000, all the gore uh, gone, wiped out from here. But the gore is the custodian of the grasslands and an important link in the ecological chain. And gore is a mega herbivore and you need a horse feeder. Basically, that's how the whole uh, natural cycle operates. Now, over 20 years since its disappearance, a team of passionate officers has set out to restore gore to Sanjay Tiger Reserve. But it won't be easy. The team must pick and move select individuals, which means they cannot capture them by herding an entire group into a corner. Instead, each gore must be chemically sedated and manually lifted into a truck. Capturing tigers is a very different technique. It's a simple stomach, it's not like mega viewers, they have four chamber. You have to take care of them. Some of the animals are extremely large in size, weighing all the way up to 1,000 kgs. In this quest, the team will need to employ skill, strength, alacrity. They'll need to brave the weather, survive injuries, and suffer heartbreaks. All to repatriate the top bovid to the home it once abandoned. Success is not a given. Risks loom large. But the hands of these heroes won't rest until Sanjay welcomes the return of the giants. Relocating gore is like relocating trees. A task that demands as much delicacy as brute strength. So the team must be sure why it needs to be done. The main objective of uh, moving gore to Sanjay was to ensure that you have a rich biodiversity restored in the park. They shape forests, they shape grasslands, and that's how the whole system works. They're important prey species for tigers, and Sanjay is the one which is having a recovering tiger population. And it's very, very important for us to have them back into system. Gore has its role because gore used to be there earlier. And so we are just putting them back in their original ecological role. Fortunately, it has been done before. So while challenging, the project isn't unprecedented. The core translocation we had actually undertaken way back, in, say maybe 11 years back, in the, from Kana to Bandhavgarh. Basically wanted for a long, long time, and it's happening now. We have had uh, one of the warmest winters. We have had one of the coldest summers. And the April, May were one of the wet wettest April, Mays that we have ever seen. In this context, we need to understand that this is really important to do. The people who had done it the first time, the staff that we had, so we were obviously losing them because they were retiring, 10 years have passed. So we wanted to, this was something that we wanted to continue. 
This time we are doing this without help of international veterinarians and capture managers. So, uh, I mean, there's a lot of sense of pride in that we are able to do it on our own, though we've got help from international experts in the past. But I think uh, the technology transfer has been very nice, so I think we can do it now on our own. With a team determined to execute the project in-house, leaders of Kanha, Sanjay and Sakura Tiger Reserves got together to form an elite team. The Forest Department of Madhya Pradesh commissioned the Wildlife Institute of India to provide technical help in the translocation and undertake necessary studies. So we need to understand that whether if you move animals, do will they survive for the next 100 years? Whether habitat is suitable enough, what is the vegetation, what are different you know, structures of the forest which are available, and based on that, this whole map is done. We would also ensure we would have something called as a population viability analysis. That means what number of animals have to get into a new park. With the suggestion of uh, Madhya Pradesh Forest Department, I did a complete suitability analysis of Gaur in entire Madhya Pradesh. And uh, this is how this project started. Here, when we did the population environment analysis, we said, if you bring in 50 gore, and then there would be some supplementations in future, and if you are bringing it, the you know, animals would survive for the next 100 years. So just putting a few individuals will not make any sense. You need to ensure the herd integrity, how males and females interact, what is the birthing interval, what's the gestation time, what's the generation interval, all these factors are we taken in. With its thriving population and genetically strong stock of gore, the natural first source was Kanha. A child of the Satpuras, Kanha is an iconic sal and mixed forest with mist-soaked grasslands, famously home to the rare Barasingha and a thriving population of gore. The task of picking the individual animals for capture went to S.K. Singh the park's field director. Uh, what will be the quality of herds, uh, how it will be chosen? That was assigned to me and uh, my deputy director. With the help of Wildlife Forensic and Health Institute, Jawalpur, they conducted uh, different tests with animal dung so that uh, it could be uh, finalized that no any disease is available with the herds. Meanwhile, the team had to take steps in Sanjay to make it a safe haven for its new tenant. Disease surveillance work was done in Sanjay and that we, we got the surveillance of uh, foot and mouth disease and we also did the uh, zero surveillance of tuberculosis in and around Sanjay Tiger Reserve. And we are taking seriously the interaction of the cattle with the wild animals and the vaccinating and making a immune ring around the national park is the, is the way we are securing them. We had uh, 10, 11 elephant here in wild uh, herd and a uh, few days before they came again from the Chhattisgarh. So uh, that posed us a great challenge to prepare the enclosures. But our commitments and our hard works from our entire staff uh, ultimately gave the results and we had uh, enclosures for that purpose. With a team in place, preparation begins in earnest. These operations are never an individual base, it's always a team effort. I'm really fortunate to be working with a wonderful team. Many of them, we have worked together before, but uh, this time, bringing everybody together, really, really great. We identified the herds, we made teams to track those herds, to keep track on them, so that broadly we know where, where they are going. We have to have our elephants go move into the herd so that the herds are habituated with the elephants, so they don't uh, balk at the, when we do the operation. Also, we have to scope out the areas where we can do it, where we cannot do it. Uh, based on the logistics. We use narcotics in all our captures and that's a very tricky thing. It's just a drop is sufficient for animals. So those drug calculations ensuring a uh, thing, you would have sleepless night, a previous night before what you have to do, how much, so there's a lot of mental stress. Much will depend on the skill of the vets darting and sedating the target animals. 
basically the principle is that single dart single capture if your dart is perfect shot is perfect then your induction time is perfect then we can safely secure the animal so we are putting a vhf and a gps collar and uh, we are also preparing the individual dossiers to identify the herds the stretcher teams needs to be trained the equipment has to be streamlined it has to be built according to the needs of this capture and you have to be sure that the the team you are working with is strong enough to uh, lift animals uh, weighing up to 1000 kg but the team doesn't believe in plans on paper experience breeds confidence so everything is being rehearsed tumhari team ka naam hai bheem so we have a team of about 25 people uh, some of them have been a part of earlier god translocation programs so they knew exactly what needs to be done and the others were trained by us we did our mock drills because it's a very heavy animal and there's a specific way in which you have to put it on the stretcher and then lift it and take it to the vehicle we gradually increased the weight from let's say 600 kg right up to 1050 kg so we were fully prepared for this 800 840 All this is grueling work, but the team knows that they must put in the hard miles now if the captures are to run smoothly. The transport of the captured gore to Sanjay must be carefully planned too. The vehicles are custom built. with a wide enough sliding door for ingress and egress ventilators for observation and fans and mist generators to keep the bio chamber cool all crucial for the well-being of the hooved giants undertaking the most important journey of their lives the first capture is always the most tense This is what it all comes down to. All the discussions, preparations, mock drills. The moment of truth is when plans come up against the imponderable. It's time to jump into the deep end of the pool. It's time to bell the bow it. ये मुंह ऊपर उठा रहे इतना नीचे रेस्पिरेशन रेट टेन निधि कब स्पिरिट वगैरह मत लगाना नो स्पिरिट निधि निधि ट्यूबर क्लीन का है डॉक्टर पीछे ध्यान रखना सबको नहीं जाने की जरूरत Remarkably, the first capture is clinical. The team goes right back in for a second capture. is it
Buoyed by back-to-back -back successes, the team pushes for a third. Capturing herbivores like mega herbivores like gaur, you have to take care of them. And capturing tigers is a very different technique. Here with the tigers, when you dart the tiger, you need not to worry in which position it's going to sit. As far as the gaur, when you dart, it has to be in sternal recumbency because the regurgitation should not be there, aspiration should not be there. So far, the execution has been perfect. But reality is a playground where the result doesn't always match the effort. It is not necessary that every time you dart an animal, it's going to fall down in a place which is very conducive to lift the animal. So very quick decisions needs to be made. Everything was going well. The third animal we captured on first day in Kana. Animal went on a, a bad place and he just moved into the pet position. So we just lifted the animal, moved, went for the revival very immediately and, and did all the emergency protocol which has to be followed. The team was full of people who have the expertise in the emergency handlings. But at the end, we lost the animal. This gave us a learning. This gave us learning terms. Because that one animal gave us so many things to go on and the life never go waste. Because losing an animal, the entire team who is involved is an entire capture operation from the stretcher to the ground team, to the veterinary, to the officials. We gathered, we everybody gathered there. We just had a brief talk about the situation. So we moved ahead with the with same energy, same zeal and same enthusiasm. People are like ready to go. The team has suffered a big blow, but they must pick themselves up and use failure as fuel. The pressure is on. The tension palpable. Yes, very good. But the team stays calm and sees the capture through safely.
उठाओ पीछे से उठाओ पीछे से अरे what i found to be wonderful about my team is that uh, all the people all the people from fd sir to our ads to our range officers right down to our forest guards they have been really into it they understand the gravity of it they understand why we are doing it we have found inspiration in in everyone for one for example one there's uh, one tpf suraksha shramika tularam he's from, from on day one itself he got injured in his shoulder but since he was the leader of the team he kept going on uh, yesterday we asked him to take rest because he had a he had swelling in his shoulder he, he point blank he refused he said i i have to be part of it so he just said ki i will use my other shoulder but i'll be part of this so this is something you the commitment that you see from the team in kana it's it really inspires you it makes you go on and on the gore gets spicy doctor ab has sustained some minor injury in the melee The team has bounced back from a heartbreak strongly, but there's a long way to go, and a big test awaits. A massive bull, much heavier than the team has handled before. It takes superhuman effort to lift and move him safely. Because superhumans don't exist, we rely on teams. And when a team works together, no giant is too big. And no bridge too far. As successful as the team has been in Kanha, to facilitate a healthy gene pool in sanjay they must take gore from at least two different source populations so they turn to the central indian highlands for more on the slopes plains and amid the gorges ravines and rivulets of this peak studded reserve lies a floral and faunal diversity that fully justifies its name translating to seven folds folds of a plentiful earth shaped by the tireless carving of time's chisels i learned a kind of a lesson from bandavgarh because all the gore had gone there from one source population they wanted to have two different you know a little bit isolated population there which is always good for a founder population so that's why we selected satpura as well and so It's only appropriate that this coffer of biological wealth was to be the second donor of some of its bovine dwellers to reanimate Sanjay's cradle. The goal here is to emulate everything that's been learned in Kanha but in a different kind of habitat. Every capture and uh, translocation is completely different and satpura is more challenging because we have a uh, thick woodland and uh, some of the terrain is not easy to approach also so that makes very challenging here the gold found here a heavier too availability of the floral uh, floral species is very high throughout the year you see that there there are some are other trees are fruiting and we have plenty of water plenty of grass in this landscape that makes uh, gen, uh, makes these animals are generally uh, bigger than other uh, central indian parks but the team proves equal to the gauntlet
So in MP, we have been translocating for many years now, and a lot of them are uh, what we call mass captures or passive captures, where we do not drug the animals. Uh, in Gore, obviously, we have to put in uh, a chemical capture. That's the only way we can transport them. And Gore was one thing that uh, we thought is necessary to keep uh, in touch, because because you need the staff, because it's a big operation. Lots of people involved, lot of training involved, lot of drills involved. So unless you keep on doing it, uh, our apprehension was that people would kind of forget. Um, so we did not want that. We want to keep uh, all the trainings that we had, all the learnings that we had, we wanted to preserve going forward. With the experience of captures in diverse situations, the team just carries on the great work from Ghana. More gore are captured in quick succession, on without a hitch. Satpura has lent another fold, this time to the fabric of Sanjay's future. Back in Kana, over the next few months, the team captures several more gore, some big and some small. some in bright sunshine, yet some in rank darkness, and some in pouring rain. In all, they get 50 individuals over a year from Kanha and Satpura meeting their target. So Sanjay can have the population it needs to become again an abode of the big bovid. Before starting transportation, we have to stabilize the animal. It's very good. They're quite comfortable. Journey is also of uh, 14 to 16 hours. It is a challenge. With the hardest part of the operation done, the animals are moved to Sanjay with the utmost care. The gore cope just well. And soon the vehicles are knocking at the gates of Sanjay, where a team waits for the return of the giant. It's late when the party reaches Sanjay, but a glorious full moon keeps the night young. As their hooves touch the earth, it's one small step for the gore and a giant leap for Sanjay. The mission of bringing Gaur home may be complete, but for scientists such as Bhaskar, the project has only just begun. The newly formed herds will be continuously monitored for the next few years. Since their release last year, the Gaur have explored over a thousand square kilometers of Sanjay's forests and have even been to the borders of Bandhavgarh, revealing excellent corridor connectivity between the two tiger reserves. In the past 12 months, 11 calves have been born, a crucial step towards the breeding success at Sanjay Tiger Reserve. For the core team, this experience has been a watershed. Majestic animal came here again. So it was a great moment. Always uh, so enthralling and uh, satisfying to be a part of conservation program like this. We are fortunate to end up the part of this team and part of this operation. I would say blessed, definitely, 
uh, to get such an experience. We broke the myth, the hitch about this uh, temperature, adversities. We had overcome it. We are the best on planet Earth now, as far as the God capture is concerned. With the power of research, preparation, grit, and commitment, the team has fought the odds and achieved the Herculean. Sanjay may be a new home for these gods, but for the species, it is a return to the roots. The new home is a true home. The mighty gore is back where it belongs. And this time, it's here to stay.